Welcome to Antena by Panda. Today I will be testing a four element UHF Yagi designed for UHF operation at starting from 435 to 445 megahertz. So we're going to use the vector impedance analyzer to check the antenna. This is now connected to the vector impedance analyzer so let's turn this on okay uh, this is the individual frequency check on the vector impedance analyzer so let's check the other frequencies going down to 435 megahertz so from 445 the SWR response is 1.6 going 446 is 1.5 445 is 1.6 so going down to 435 so 444 is 1.6 443 is 1.5 442 is 1.4 441 is 1.2 443 is 1.1 438 is 1.2 436 is 1.5 and 435 is 1.6 now let's check the frequency sweep analysis from 435 to 445 uh, on the vector impedance analyzer option so this is the graph of our frequency response we have a very good graph uh, so look at the cursor going down to 435 the SWR is 1.6 spot on on 439 440 is 1.1 .1, going up to 445 so let's compare this response on the SWR meter SX400 so let's turn this off and remove the coaxial patch cable and move it to the SWR meter so let's remove the Bell D9913 coaxial cable Let's move it to SWR meter. We put it on the back of the radio. And let's compare the SWR response. So let's turn this on. I connected this to the switching power supply. Uh, I'm going also to check the current drain on this setup. Current drain of the radio. So let's turn this on. So let's first check 435 MHz. So let's set the transmit power to oh, uh, first let's check low power 
So, low power, this range is actually almost similar to high power. So, let's check that up. So, let's move to 435 first. 435 and let's calibrate this. This is low power as we can see on the QYT display. So, let's calibrate. So that's full deflection, current drain on transmit is 2.5, so switch to SWR mode, we are on 440, so it's about one is to one or one less than 1.1 1 .1. let's check the forward power so as we can see here it's about 12 watts on low power so let's check the high power setting So let's recalibrate on the same frequency. It's 440 high power as we can see on the display. We have full deflection switch to SWR. We have the same 1.1 on high power. So let's check the current drain. Current drain on high power is 3.27. So let's check the power output on high power. It's about 14 watts or 15 watts. 15 watts on 440. So now let's check the frequency response from 435 to going up to 445. So let's move the frequency to 435 and recalibrate the dial of the SWR. We have full deflection, 435, switch to SWR mode. As we can see here, we have 1.5 on 435, 436, let's recalibrate again. Full deflection. Okay. 436. Switch to SWR. It's 1.4. 437. Let's recalibrate. seven so SWR mode is 1.2 438 let's calibrate so switch to SWR mode it's one is to one or almost one is to one no movement actually same let's check with 439 switch to SWR mode also the same one is to one on 439 let's check 440 uh, for 440 440 
celebrate we have full deflection switch to SWR mode so we have 1.1 on 440 441 so we have full deflection 441 that's switch to SWR mode so we have 1.2 on 441 442 we have some noise anyway let's check that let's recalibrate We have full deflection on 442, SW, let's check SWR, so we have 1.4 on 442, 443, let's recalibrate 443, let's check, uh, switch to SWR mode. We have 443 is 1.5 SWR. Let's check 444. Let's recalibrate. We have full deflection. Switch to SWR mode. Almost the same on 444. It's 1.5. So let's check 445. So, like, recalibrate. We have pull deflection. Let's adjust it a bit. We have full deflection, oops, a bit. Okay, so let's switch to SWR mode. Still it's 1.5 on 445. About 1.6 on 445. So actually the frequency response on SX400 and the vector impedance analyzer is almost identical but actually this antenna can be used on 430 to 450 MHz so let's check that with the vector impedance analyzer let's remove the coaxial cable turn this off and let's put this back on the vector impedance analyzer Okay, it's now connected to the vector analyzer, vector impedance analyzer. Let's turn this on again. And let's see the frequency response on 430 going to 450. On the lower band, it's, uh, you can still use it from 430 going to 445 but not on 450 because the pattern is totally unacceptable on 450.
although you can use the antenna but the performance will not be the same so that's the individual frequency analysis let's move to frequency sweep analysis and move the values of this to this is 435 so let's move it to 430 let's adjust it I start frequency is 430 and the uh, ending frequency is 450 so as we can see here Let's move the cursor to the mark frequency to check the frequency response along the curve. So from 430, the, the SWR is actually 1.1 going up to 1.6 1 uh, on 435 and going down again on 439 and up again on 445 1.6 on 434 uh, 435 and also 1.6 on 445 so this is actually wideband however the advisable operating frequency is inside the this carb from 435 to 445 but you can use it on 430 with still good performance but not on 450 the limit is on 445 so thank you for watching and this antenna will be available on my antenna by panda page Thank you for watching.